Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're back in Return of Reckoning on our White Lion, and we're going to be doing some crafting today. I've gone a little bit further than we were before last time, which means that the, uh, the open world quest uh, that we were going to do, we're going to be doing a different one, since we're further along. Not very far further along, but uh, further along. So there are two different crafting classes. There is the Talisman Maker and the Apothecary. Um, one is for making talismans that are these gems uh, that you can put into the sockets of your equipment. I think you can make other things. Uh, I may be wrong about that. It's been a long time. Uh, where the other is for making potions and dyes. For your equipment and of course like health potions regen potions intelligence potions um, bombs that you could throw things along those lines so we're gonna start with one of my favorite harvestings which you, there are four there is cultivating butchery salvaging and sur surveillance surveying <laughs> it's, uh, Scavenging, scavenging. So we're gonna start with cultivating. Cultivating is just that it's you are a taking a uh, a plant and you are growing it to become a ingredient that can be used in crafting. Now, this will get prices. better as you go on, but we're gonna be starting pretty easy. We're gonna start with. Uh, just a, um, let's see here, we'll start with a restoration potion ingredient, and to grow that we're going to need several different things, we're going to need soil, we're going to need water, and we're going to need a fertilizer, this is clotted gore or just a nasty item, flesh if you will, uh, that will increase the chances of you creating a quality item so let's go ahead and go to our abilities i've gone to general and already have trade skill uh selected so this would be faster and let's go ahead and put cultivating down here let's open it up and you'll see that you have four panels because you can grow four plants at a time later on as you get a uh, higher skill i think at 50 skill you open up the second panel 100 and then 200 you open up the fourth I may be wrong about those numbers, but I think that's what it was. It's been so long. Uh, but as you go up in skill, the longer it's going to take you to um, get those plants made. So having more panels is going to be uh, even more helpful. But early on, it's going to be rather fast, and it really isn't going to give you enough time to really do much else. So the first thing you need is the seed. Uh, once you put the seed here, it's going to start a timer, and we're going to need to place soil so that it has something to grow in. So we're going to put the, the seed in and put the soil, and now it's going to start growing. While this is growing, we're going to go into here, and we're going to learn Apothecary. We got three seconds. We've learned Apothecary, and we need to put water in now. Now, if you don't pay attention to this and you forget one of these ingredients, you have that last saving grace, the healing nutrients that you can put into the soil to hopefully save the plant. <laughs> and uh, we got 10 seconds left. Well, that's uh, completing. Let's go ahead and go back over here because we're going to need some items to craft our um let's go ahead and collect that and if you succeed it will go into your crafting items so we did succeed so we're going to go ahead and pick up let's go ahead and close this now uh, we're going to pick up a uh, vial to make our potions we'll pick up two of them and we're going to pick up uh, cloudy water two of those now you can get more of these if you want to, and you'll see why I say that. Um, okay, apothecary, we'll put that there. 
So this is the potion making um, section. Again, all of this isn't hard. It just takes some time and takes more time. The higher you get, takes higher ingredients to get better quality items. But for now, we're going to put a potion vial in. There's no time restraint here. You have as much time as you want to decide what ingredients you're going to be putting in. Uh, then you're going to put your main ingredient. As you can see, it says apothecary main under the item description. And uh, so we know that this is the main ingredient. Now, if you have other ingredients that aren't main ingredients, there are probably going to be things that will increase the amount of this product that you're going to make, uh, increase the amount of healing power this has, and then finally a stabilizer, which is what this is, which is cloudy water. So you'll probably need a better quality stabilizer, depending on what you're putting here for your other slots. But because we're only going to be making a basic potion, we don't need to add anything else. So let's go ahead and brew this. And that will complete. And as you can see, it didn't take these ingredients out because we have one extra one. So we'll go ahead and brew our other. And that's it. If we go back into our inventory, you'll see that we have uh, healing potions that do 240 health over 60 seconds, uh, which we're gonna go ahead and put there. Now, like I said, every crafting has two different uh, types of harvesting you can do. The other one for alchemy is butchery. So let's go ahead and learn this skill. It's gonna say, well, you're gonna lose all your abilities in cultivation, except go ahead and learn that trade skill. Say goodbye. And uh, what we're looking for are animals or beasts or anything that isn't human. So let's go ahead and attack this guy. Well, that guy is kind of hidden now. Let's attack one of these guys. Might use my throwing ability. There we go. That's going to pull him to me. Why am I not? A oh, I... <laughs> Because I have my uh, my axe on my back for some reason. Okay, now we have the ability to butcher it. Um, there we go. I have uh, no clue why that why that did that. It's not like I can use a bow or anything, or at least I don't think I can. All right, let's go back into our bags and go into crafting items. And you can see here we got a wild uh, zoyak. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's how you'd say that. Gore. This meager ingredient can be used to stabilize a potion. So this is just a stabilizing item. Let's go ahead and kill this rat over here. Don't you get away from me. Okay, and we got another one from that one. Let's see if we can't uh, get something other than the gore from one of these mobs okay we got something different here a foul uh, animal humor this is a main ingredient so all we are going to need because of the fact that we got uh the wild uh zoyak or however you want to say that item uh we can go straight over here and all we need to buy is a vial Handage, bless you uh, let's go back into Apothecary, and we'll put in our potion, our main ingredient, and our uh, our uh, stabilizer. Let's brew that, and we ended up getting a equal, equally as good uh, healing elixir, it would seem. So that is alchemy and uh, butchery as well as cultivating. Let's go ahead and do the next ones. So over here, uh, you are looking for what is called a hedge wizard. Listen this is the person who's going to teach you how to do talisman making. We'll go ahead and accept that we want to make talismans. And there are two types of harvesting for this one, like I said before. One of them is salvaging, and I have an item ready for us to salvage. Uh, yes, we want to unlearn uh, butchery, and we want to learn this. So we'll say goodbye. And we are going to go into our abilities. We have the talisman making, 
and the magical sav uh, salvagery or salv salvaging. We'll click this and it'll ask us which one does it want uh, do we want? We're gonna go ahead and accept strength item. And if we come over here, we got not only a uh, savage rugged debris, which will give us an item uh, for making strength talismans, but we also got impure gold dust. A meager component can be used to increase the power of the talisman. So that's good. That's one thing we're not going to be needing. So that right there is what uh, salvagery is about, or being a salvager is about, is just taking items and breaking them down. Show you a thing so two. scavenging is like butchery. This is um, exactly like butchery, to be honest, because you're hunting down non-animals, sentient beings, if you will, that um, have some sort of intelligence. And that's how it's explained. Is some kind of animal that uh, has intelligence, which I believe we should be able to find over here in this direction. The crafting in the game isn't overly hard or complicated, which is something I like, but you do get excitement out of it, I think, especially with the cultivating. You feel like you you have something that you're doing. Uh, also with the potion making, I, I really like that as well. The talisman making all comes down again to the ingredients that you use. So uh, let's go ahead and send our lion on that. I'm going to attack this guy. And we're just going to get a few guys rounded up here. And hopefully we have four of them. Alright, let's go ahead and harvest several of these. And uh, we were able to pick up, um, let's see here, a murderous lavender frost. This is actually a high quality ingredient or an average ingredient because of the fact that it's green. Uh, if it was uh, purple, I think that's the highest quality. And if it was blue, it would be... Um, uh, average, uh, not average, but the next step up from average. But this will make intelligence talismans, which is what we'll, we'll go ahead and make. Uh, we got a strength talisman item here. It's kind of the same as this one. It's just a different name. Actually, this is also an average fragment. And then we got a mojo coin. A meager, curious object can be used to add power to a talisman. So we have two items now. Or two types of items that will increase the power of the talisman. Alright, so let's go ahead and go over here back to the uh, trainer. Or, or not to the trainer, but to the uh, the merchant. Step right up. And browse their wares. So here what we need to craft a talisman is we need these boxes. And I'm going to get... That's a stabilizer. That's for potions. We got three actual ingredients. So I'm gonna go ahead and get three relic boxes. Then we want to get a, um, we need to get three silent essences. This is a magic ingredient, a meager component to, that can be used to increase the power of the talisman. You need three types of ingredients. You need a magic ingredient you need a gold essence type of ingredient and you need a curio ingredient. So we need one more of these and we need two of these. There we go. Tell your friends. And let's go ahead and start making the talisman. Again, it looks like it can be hard, but it really is not. So the first thing we need to do is we need to add the relic box. This is the item that we're using to make the, the, uh, the talisman. Then we need to put our main ingredient. So we're going to go ahead and start with the savage uh, rugged debris. 
And now we just need to put one of each of these stabilizers in. There you go. Fuse it together. And it's not going to make a very strong or good quality one for a few reasons. One, we're using an average quality item to make a talisman, but using uh, below average uh, quality uh, stabilizers. So it, this for right now is fine, but as you go up in skill, uh, it will increase the amount of strength uh, that you're going to get from it. Let's go ahead and make the intelligence one as well. And as you can see, these are staying here, and so is this, because of the fact that we have uh, these ingredients available to us. There we go. And then one more. And there we go. And that wiped out all of our ingredients. We have uh, three different uh, items. As you can see, this was a meager uh, primary ingredient, so this only gave us three strength. Where this was, um, this was a average, so it's going to give us higher. Again, average is going to give us that seven intelligence instead of three intelligence because it's not a meager ingredient. And that is the crafting in the game, the craft is, uh, crafting and harvesting. Let me know what you guys think I should do. I am fine with doing any of them. I think the end uh, ingredients that you're going to get from uh, doing the crafting is going to be well worth it. So I have no bias either way. Which one will be more beneficial to me? Probably early on is going to be the potion making. But in the long run, talismans are expensive. Uh, especially when you get higher up in level. You'll be spending a lot of money on them because you'll have items that have three and four, maybe five slots for you to put uh, upgrades into. So it may be better to go with the talisman. But I'm going to leave that in your hands. If you leave a comment, I will reply to it down below. And uh, thank you all for watching. This is Cypher Deck. Next time, we'll get into actual fighting and doing other things i just wanted to have this video just stay with crafting and uh yeah uh, next time we'll take on the burning windmill uh quest which is the an open world quest for for you to be able to take part in this is cypher deck peace out